I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my growth, my physical health. I intend to develop self discipline in order to bring the best in myself and in others. I intend to use what I learned in class constructively and defensively, draw myself from my fellow man, and never be abusive or offensive. Thank you, sir. Great ball. Remind you of a So with where these targets are, when you do any of the target work, if you just slide them back a little bit, you don't have to move the targets. Just have that move back okay. from and then that target right there. Hello, Callum and Kashup and Rishab. We're doing up kicks. So you're on your back. Drive the heel up through the ceiling. Hips way up off the ground. And now put the right to the other side. Uh -huh. So, no, you, you just have them use that target sit there. Oh. So have Matt and Nagesh just slide back a little bit. Oh, oh, so when yeah, it's time I, to do target work. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Oh. And uh, right now we're going to break all legs. We're going to break all. And then, okay. Break all. And then also you do off the legs. So after you break all, we're going to do a different leg standing on this leg. And in and 
left one side. Now one left hand can go on the target. Okay, send the leg out. The other leg can now shoot you to the back. And then down, and push leg down. Oh, so if you guys are target home, great. If not, just use a wall or a chair or anything like that. Maybe that will kind of give you that out. And then down, and down, and one more time. And in and down. So the hover guy is still in the third way. We are classic. From here, guards up. We're going to go from a right hand to five. Keep that side yet. So we can make sure our first point is away from where we're sitting. Lean down. Try your side kick. Bring right back in and down. Small each other. Make sure to bring your knees to your chest or your steady kick. And throw your left side forward. And go. <laughs> And now put your stance the right side forward, twenty seconds, knee back, and knee to chest, seven to and go. And side. All right. Now we move into our flat side kick. We're going to have left side forward again. My like back leg is going to fly up. And when it's sliding up, I want to make my foot pivot then. Instead of flying up and then pivoting my foot in the opposite direction, I want to slide into all the same time. You slide to this and you leave your chest and it's going to take you a little bit. See it? Put that in down. And go. Slide up side kicks. And side, put your stand to right side forward, then that kick, fly up, and front kick, fire the kick. <laughs> Okay. 
And um, let's pop our back into the other square to worry when we're hitting targets. So do we not really hit targets? Do you have something to hit? Great. If not, just do it in form, but we still the mentality that you are doing something. We're going to do our defensive front or our defensive side, which means we're doing a, just in form a couple of minutes ago. We're going to take our hands with our left side forward and we're going to touch it into the target. We want our fingers to just barely touch it. That's about as far away as you want to be for this game. Make sure our foot's pointed away from our, away from our target, so away from where we're kicking. We're going to use your chest, send a kick, put our back end down. So you can do a step, just lean back and throw. Any questions? Alright, guards up and go. <laughs>
So Zoom team, you guys are going to do short one kata for right now with everyone else? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kashup and Rishub, short one kata review a couple of times. Thank you. 
So advanced team, you guys are going to start practicing your creative kumite or purple blue green belts. You guys are doing XMA form two right now. Purple, blue, green belts continue to focus in on XMA form two, that first section that the mats are demonstrating so beautifully. Nice work.
And uh, all right, guys. So now we're on the product. If you want to practice any of these things, because I'm almost a great idea to really make sure all the things are all in your head. Here, it's going to be in position. Here, and third, two. Head for it today. Very good. And everybody today, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Right? So certainly, I want to continue with you. Happy New Year. I need to do that all through the month of January because it's still a pretty new year. It's only a month old, right? So, and through the month of January, I always talk about the concept of living your life by design versus living in light of fault. Right? So if you were that you could choose your own life and your own path, which many of you certainly have, versus living the life of somebody else who's chosen for you, certainly it's going to be much better. And keeping in mind that we're always going to have our own best interest in mind. Now certainly we're always going to have people in our lives that have our own best interest in mind. But at the same time, it's natural to be a little bit self-serving and think of, you know, how can you help me be a little bit better? That's just the average person. Right? I'm in the fortunate position that the more I help other people, the more it actually benefits me. Um, so for me, it's very easy to say, hey, can help all you guys. But the point is, is how can I make sure that I'm moving in the direction that I want to really be able to live? Right? Otherwise, what happens is we're living the same year again and again, and 10 years later, we have one, ex one year of experience that we've lived for 10 years, versus 10 years of experience. So last week the concept was the victory list. Sitting down and thinking, what are some of the victories that I've had for this past year? Right? And if you guys could, if you wanted to share, what would be some of the victories that you've had this past year? Somebody wants to have some. Okay, that's one, right? So getting better at the discipline of doing housework, right? That can certainly be a good one, right? Black Belt's routine last year, right? And there's, there's certainly a lot of new victories. Now, so last week, the assignment was to sit down and do your victory. And that's always really a really good assignment. This week, the assignment is to dream big. Dream big. Dream big, right? One of my favorite ones of the assignment, because you sit down with a piece of paper and you think that if you could hit the world with a magic wand and make it perfect in every way, if money wasn't an obstacle, Time wasn't an obstacle, resources, knowledge, skills, 
if you could do, be, have anything you wanted, what types of things would those be? The kids are really good at this because they have a crazy imagination. Sometimes adults start doing these exercises and they go, well, yeah, I'd love to, you know, fly to the moon, but come on, really? Who's going to make it to the moon? You know, and so we quickly put restraints on ourselves. And my encouragement is don't do that. If you think it would be cool to land on the moon someday, that's what's on their way, man. It could happen in our lifetime, right? We're privatizing space travel. So who knows what's going to happen, right? Write it all down. And think as big as you can. My goal is always to try and get to 100. Something I read out of a book many, many years ago is trying to make a list of 100 goals you would like to accomplish, right? And it doesn't matter if they're possible or not, just write it down. And I can tell you it's a lot harder than it is first time. I do it every year and I've never made it to 100. I've gotten to the 80s, but never quite to 100. And it's a cool drill, especially if you keep your list. I can tell you I can do lists from 10 to 15 years ago now that I look back and there's a ton of stuff on those lists that I accomplished. Now, some of them I may have been moving in that direction anyway to accomplish it, but some of them I may never even have thought of if I didn't have that creative process going. And it has forced me every year to make sure that there's something new and different that I'm doing. Right? So, really good exercises. If you haven't done them yet, I encourage you to do the victory list. And then afterwards, spend about 15 or 20 minutes and just write down everything you can possibly think of. And if having a giraffe bar pops into your mind, then write it down. 10, 12, probably 15 years ago, if you had told me that you wanted to open up a zoo in Chenango, I'd have gone, you're crazy. A zoo in Chenango, who's going to go? Well, guess what? There's a zoo in Chenango and people love it, right? Who would have known? It's a very successful place. So write it down. You never know when that next big idea could happen. And Having a giraffe farm, maybe you go, well, no, but the next idea that pops in your mind, because you're letting your brain think creatively like that, could be the one that makes you go, this one right here, I could make that happen. But that would be really cool. So, again, that's the message of the week. And the assignment of the week is lean big. Relax in and loud and proud as a dedicated student of martial arts. As a dedicated student of martial arts. I will live by the principal's black belt. I will live by the principal's black belt. Modesty. Modesty. Courtesy. Courtesy. Integrity. Integrity. Self-control. Self-control. Perseverance. Perseverance. And indomitable spirit. And indomitable spirit. What is the goal? Black belt excellence, sir. Principal stance. Position. Yes. Courtesy. Out. Impact martial arts. Us. Excellent work. High five. Nice work, Zoom team. You guys are all set. Nice job, man.